Hey guys, how's it going? Robert Warshak here, and we're going to be taking a look at the first deck that we're going to be covering since the new wild cards have hit standard. I figured what a better way to start off than Super Secret, Nizoth Paladin, uh, Mysterious Challenger is back in, which means there's a bunch of secrets that we can play for free. Avenge is back in. Avenge is a fantastic secret, so of course we have to all throw this in a package. Throw Nizoth in there because he's a new card and we can't. We got this. Um, deck performed really well. Deck what it does what it does very, very well. That's basically curve out, play a minion or a secret every turn. If your opponent doesn't do anything, we just win. If your opponent has board clears, we have a decent um, ability to come back in the late game. But overall, solid deck, pretty fun to play. And if you like Paladin, you like Secrets, you like this deck. For those of you unfamiliar with how we do these, I'm going to cover every card in the deck, why it's in there, why it synergies with that card, and um, we'll go through it. And then from there, we'll head into some games. You'll see the gameplay of the deck, how it's played, and then hopefully you guys can replicate that on ladder. Um, I'm going to try to make these speed up going over cards because it's like it ends up being like 8 to 10 minutes. That's too long. I'm going to try to hammer through it right so avenge new secret uh it's a one mana three two basically because when a minion dies it gives another one a buff and uh it's probably one of the best secrets if not the best secret um out of all of them it's just so so good hidden wisdom this deck has problem drawing it, this is basically our draw mechanic our opponent plays three cards we draw two never surrender opponent plays a secret our guys get health health is good keeps them alive we like that noble sacrifice when an opponent attacks summons a two one so avenge technically if we have avenge and noble sacrifice out and they attack noble sacrifice hits that's an extra minion that dies and then avenge will proc so you actually only need one minion out if you have noble sack to proc, uh, proc avenge which is really strong redemption we have a lot of death rattles uh, redemptioning on like snip snap bell ringer Tyrion, all really really good sylvanas and uh, really obnoxious for our opponent all right play secrets gotta run secret keeper because every time we play one she gets plus one plus one she does not work with mysterious challenger though so if you have secret keeper out and you play mysterious challenger and he summons five secrets for you she doesn't actually get plus five plus five because you didn't actually play them he played them i don't know it's stupid buffer up baby uh loot hoarder I, like i mentioned this deck has a problem with drawing loot hoarder is draw works well in the early game with redemption also gets brought back and is off mysterious blade we don't run true silver we run mysterious blade because it's a fiery war axe kind of if you have a secret out and um if you don't that's okay too because most of the minions in the early game don't have three health anyway uh sun reaver spy gotta play this guy you know why because we play secrets <laughs> it's a two mana three four if we have a secret out secrets are good this guy's good they work together uh commander all your secrets trigger twice. Guess what we got? We got secrets. She works with secrets. So, all right, so, so I've, I've, I found a lot of people uh, get pigeonholed because they try to like make their all of their turns work around commander and procking secrets. She's good, but don't like play your whole game plan based around commander, right? Like if it works out, it works out and it'll be great. But if it doesn't work out, don't like sway everything to like work secrets in with commander. If that makes sense, just play her. Don't don't try to wait and like ruin your curve because you're trying to get like commander value. Just throw her out there if you have secrets. Cool if not, cool. Uh, Snip snap, best mech in the game besides Zilliax. They're both like really good. It, you, it, we every deck guide has this guy. We just get the, it, yeah. All right, Bell Ringer. You play this guy. He summons secrets for free. We like that. He dies. He plays more secrets for free. We like that. He's decently statted. He's in the deck. Blessing of Kings. It gives a minion plus four plus four. We buff minions. Minion trades. Minion go face. That's good. Defender, this deck has basically no healing. This guy heals us. He has Taunt. He has Death Rattle. He has Reborn. He works with Nazoth. Good stuff. If you don't like this card, put in Zilliax. Mysterious Challenger, put all one of each secret from your deck into the battlefield. This is our Bing Bang Boosh. This is our Mr. Moo Moo Power Wagon. We play this guy. He summons a bunch of secrets. Our, our, our opponent freaks out. They attack. They don't know what to do. And then you end up having like three minions on the board. Two of them are buffed. They have extra HP. And then you've thinned your deck because you've gotten rid of all the secrets because they pulled from Mysterious Challenger. It's good stuff. It's fantastic. And uh, yeah. Uh, Windrunner. One of the new cards. We throw in her because she's a new card. She also has Death Rattle. She works with Nazoth. Using Redemption on her is also pretty good. So you have Sylvanas out. You have a Redemption. They kill her. You know, you take something, she gets reborn, you attack, you take something else. We like that. Ragnaros shoots giant eight damage fireballs at our opponents, our opponent's minions, our opponent's families. We like that. He's in the deck. Tyrion has death rattle, gives us an Aspringer. That Aspringer does, it's a 5-3 weapon and attacks our opponents in the face. It's really, really good. We like that. It's good with redemption, brings back with Nazoth. If we mention that, no problem. Nazoth. 10 mana, 5-7 stats isn't why we played this guy. He summons all death rattles that have died. So Snip, Snap, Sylvanas, uh, Defender um Tyrion, all that good shit and if it got redemption then it's gonna summon two of them we like two of them so we play nazoth and nazoth like likes death rattles all right there's the deck hopefully you like it let's get into the action of that sweet succulent scrumptious shack content yeah thanks man mucho appreciate it
Ey, ey, ey. This used to be one of my favorite songs. It still is really good. I think, like, by the time his quest is complete, we've either won or lost the game by then, right? Hey, Use your Nikes, bruh. I wonder why he didn't heal himself. Oh, he's gonna psycho pump that guy, isn't he? Reporting for duty. The end begins. Free of that blasted tower. Tell word pain. Repentance, oh, okay. I don't think I'm ever getting through this guy, so <laughs> I might as well just kind of ignore it. Unless he has, I, I guess Light Bomb kind of fucks me, but I mean, there's really no other play here. His best play is to like never attack. Because by attacking, he just sets off like this chain reaction of stuff. Any other music videos in here that we like? <sighs> For justice. Definitely go face. You can't pump 10, 12 damage into Arc Fist or Arc, Arc Mage. Or go. Doesn't make sense. Because if he does like explosions, right? My guys get more health so they don't die. And then if he trades, we still, like, you know what I mean? Like, what does he do? Never surrender. OP, OP. And now his guy's dead. And so it'll now recast his explosion. But now this guy dies. This guy lives. We play this guy. We attack. We end turn. And giant fireballs rain down on his fed head. Cool beans. Next. I wonder what... Uh, oh my gosh, another priest. I wonder... Uh, We're gonna do today for food. Very important. <laughs> Blade is only important if he's a combo priest. You know? And I guess I keep it, but. Maybe he's combo priest and he plays cleric. This is kind of like Fiery War Axe. But, you know, if it's not, then I kind of get screwed. Another one of these decks. I don't even know how to like... Beat. Like... You just have to like kill them. Prior to turn 6. Cause after that you never kill these people. Wait. Okay.
this is your first time testing out the secret paladin i played like a couple games with it yesterday and we went 0 and 3 but i wasn't playing very good yesterday <laughs> i was playing like fucking shit so i'm fairly certain i would have lost with any deck i would have played with yesterday like we were playing terrible Yes, sir. That guy. Alright, well. Let's see which unit dies. Yeah, I died. Dogs. Oh, that's a full Christmas tree. That's kind of just GG. Oh, it wasn't the other guy. Right, never mind. Not technically GG yet. It's a lot of shit. <laughs> it's like five cards in secrets. We built a Death Rattle Warrior, though. We built the Death Rattle Warrior, so we'll see how that turns out. So our best draw is like probably a mysterious challenger. Snip snap's also pretty good. Any four drop or higher. Stag. I don't know about that loot hoarder. State five those putting in work. So we got hidden wisdom, sack, never surrender. The light bomb kills the eight five. That's good. It's not a good draw. I'm assuming more damage face is just better. We're getting to the point where the sands of whatever is going to come out. So when he plays a minion this turn, if I can opt to kill it with the loot hoarder so I can at least get a draw off this guy, that'd be good. So noble sack procs here. Problem is he clears my board. He most definitely clears the board. Maybe he plays Light Bomb. <laughs> that would help me so much. Mass Res? Alright. Unfortunately, eh, I guess it, he doesn't kill anything with Batter. Yeah, I don't know, man. Divine Favor was such an important card to this deck because we basically just dump our hand, right? And then we Divine Favor, and then we just draw it all back. <clears throat> this guy's a Batterhead Master. Rag is good. It's 
one card. Oh, did he complete the quest? I think he did. Oh, yeah. Oh. Now his hero power changes. He's probably gonna just make this get upgraded, right? Just hero powers to steg. What up, Deathbone? Yeah, so now if we even play Rag, it doesn't even kill this. Did you fix... Did you fix issues yesterday? What do you mean, Deathbone? Like... The audio issues? No. I still have to wear headphones. I can't... That's not something I can actually fix. Yeah, that doesn't change anything. Started the stream once. Yeah, I, there's that's not something like I found a way around it, but I can't fix it. It's not a it's not a me problem. It's a Hearthstone problem. They changed the way that their audio is done. In the most recent update, they changed around um, their channels for some reason. So because they did that. Um, that was a really terrible play. Actually, he got so lucky his guy didn't attack anything. Wow. If his guy would have just attacked the other guy. Like, that was such a big misplay. Holy shit. This guy could have died. I mean, I could rip Sylvanas and then Sylvanas into, like, I could still get Tyrion and Sylvanas and Nizoth, so. Alright. Never mind. Doesn't really matter anymore. I needed to get, like, I mean, I just got Sylvanas, alright, well. Alright, now my next card needs to be like Nazoth. Or like Tyrion into Nazoth. But I think I'm dead over two turns anyway. Well, I could take that guy. Unless he just has lethal. No. Eight. No, I'm not dead. Alright, yeah, I could take this guy right here. There's Nazoth. Alright, um... Yeah, so I just trade into this guy and hope I take this or this. Alright, I took probably the worst one. Yeah, I took kind of the worst one. The battle. <sighs> the battle. Okay. Ass hysteria. Sylvanas died. Let's see what Sylvanas takes. Theoretically, Sylvanas should take his one of his guys. Nice. Take the big one. I didn't get the lifesteal one, but still good. Problem is, I know what that other card in his hand is. <laughs> the other card in his hand is the, uh, uh, the plague. Maybe he doesn't run the plague. If he doesn't run the plague, then give me Tyrion. Let's hit him in the face. He just played... Nah, he didn't play three cards this turn. Alright, there's Tyrion. Alright, hit him in the face. Alright, next card. Gimme kings. <laughs> if he gets plagued, then it's done. Oh god, that, that feels terrible. Alright, I can't win from this position. There's nothing left in my deck. I kept it going as long as I could. 
we actually made a, like a pretty good comeback. If we would have stolen, remember when we stole a really bad, like one of the not so good minions with Sylvanas, if we would have taken one of the ones with Rush or the bigger guy, and then the Sylvanas would have taken another one, like at that point we would have taken a pretty sizable one and we had two turns to hit him in the face. Um, it was a good chance we maybe could have made a, a win there, but no half. Why did they Hall of Fame Sylvanas wasn't playing around that time is she, and she is super cool. Uh, she's like every like she just goes into too many decks. I think I keep this curve. They don't want cards like that just fit into every deck. So like uh, which is kind of like silly because they have like basic cards that like every druid runs swipe every druid runs wrath every druid runs nourish every druid runs you know what I mean there's like certain cards that like every druid plays. And it's because of the basic set, which they need to get rid of, in my opinion. <clears throat> Maybe it was best to play Loot Hoarder, because he never hero powers. Innervate Wrath? Yeah, I should have played Loot Hoarder. Yeah, like Zilliax are probably like, well, oh, that wasn't smart. <laughs> Yeah, last turn I missed out on two damage from this. Yeah, she was part of the classic set. Nice start, Druid. Jeez. Not only did he start with coin, he also had Innervate, and he also had Wrath, and then he also drew both of his Crystal Merchants. <laughs> that is like, that's the best start to this deck you can have. That's the worst draw on the deck. Because the secret could have got pulled anyway, next turn with this guy. I think that is actually the worst draw on the deck. Still, my short adventure into WoW, she was a cool character. Yeah. I mean, I, I mean she's not very cool anymore. <laughs> the new WoW, everybody hates her. But, um... At first, she was pretty cool. That's another... We're strong on the deck. We're really good at drawing really bad cards right now. I mean, granted, our deck has a lot of secrets, but it has a lot of not secrets too. So, I mean, we have a decent curve leading up because we have like Mysterious into Mysterious into Tyrion into like maybe a decent nine turn and then an Azoth. But, uh, all right. So, hopefully, Avenge doesn't land on the 6-6. Six, six. If it lands on the, it's the worst target for it to land on. Um, because now his four six just trades into it. But if it would have landed somewhere else, these guys would have got the avenge. Like, come on, game. No, uh, I don't want it to be yesterday all over again. Like, worst case. That was the worst draw on the deck again. Holy shit. Stop. Stop, game. Any other card in the deck would have been fine, but with it landing on like another secret, it would have just again pulled this for free, and it would have actually played the secret, and none of my minions would have died here. <sighs> I wish I could make it up. Put your faith in the light.
My big ass thumbs betray your texting. There's been a, I've done a couple whoopsies with texting and like sending out the wrong email. Autocorrect sometimes goes insane. <laughs> Autocorrect? Holy shit. What if? Autocorrect has a whole mind of its own. So our best draw would be like Snip Snap or Sylvanas. Oh. I, I don't really have time not to play the Nana's off there. I gotta, I gotta force an Azoth. Like, I never beat this Druid late game. So our best draws are like Rag right now. Starfall, it's good for me. No, never surrender procs. I don't know how we're gonna win this game. If we win this game, it's a fucking miracle. <laughs> because we had some really shitty start. Like, really shitty start. All right, hopefully he plays like one more card. Hopefully like Wrath something. But yeah, now that my Hidden Wisdom pops, I draw two cards. All right, that's good. Good. I'm probably gonna end up killing off my Loot Hoarder just to see if I can draw something else as well. All right, never mind. There's Sylvanas. It's definitely, definitely something like this. There's definitely this involved. Probably something like this. Do I want to? No. Well. Yeah. I kind of want Tyrion to die because he has a sword. <laughs> There she again. I guess he wants to Zephyrus. Yeah, so he's gonna Zephyrus and he's gonna like Frost Nova. Hidden Oasis, that's fine. So now the question is, do we take this guy with Sylvanas, go face with everything, or do I trade with Tyrion, grab the sword, go face with everything? Alright, so again, do we take the 6-6? Six, six? It turns into a 6-1. I don't think so. I think we do this. And I play every card I have, and I go face. Actually, playing every card I have was bad. Because of, uh, he's gonna do Twisting Nether. Yeah, my bad. He's gonna do Zephyrus Twisting Nether. I forgot that Druids have Twisting Nether. How could I have forgotten? I should have held back these guys. Well, I should have played like one of them. Oh, he doesn't run Zephyrus? He has to run Zephyrus. I don't know, he's ranked 6. Maybe he doesn't run Zephyrus. He's dead if he does that? I suppose so. Well, 6. Yeah, I guess you're right. Oh, he was Malagos. Ah. He was the goose. So this death rattle procs first. So this is how we're going to do this. So if I hit here, we should take the 7-7. Seven, seven. I don't know how we won that game. 
Yeah, the death rattles proc in order of like when they were played. So because Sylvanas was on the board before a thing, if we kill that with the final hit of Sylvanas, Sylvanas dies and takes the one that isn't reborn yet because that guy's still reborn. Or still getting reborn. I don't know how we won that game.